Hey guys, welcome back to Andrew's Old School Garage, and today we're going to be making a Ford Friday video here. And uh, hopefully there will be lots um, more videos coming out weekly, like I try to do. And the reason why there should be is because of Michigan. And uh, currently, the governor shut down Michigan. And that's because of this dumb coronavirus. So I'm off for school for like four weeks, three or four weeks. So I don't know. But it's nice outside. And I've been missing, I've been... You know, you guys know that the Ford hasn't been up and running because of electrical problems. But today, um, before I started recording, I was working on the wiring harness. And I, my small tripod broke, guys. But, so that's why it's an odd angle because I have this big one. I hope this will work. So, um, what you guys are going to see in the beginning of this video it is me putting the rest of it back together, and yes, I do have the back seat back off as it's over there. There's the front grill. Yeah. Sabrina. Hold on, guys. Sabrina's stuck. There you go, puppy. Sabrina, you stuck. Okay, peeps. Did I seriously just say that? Anyways. So, first things first, we're going to do, since I got the wearing harness, hopefully you fixed. There's one, we're gonna go over here. Gonna get the, we're gonna, so we're gonna end up using this battery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it pulled out of this. Oh my gosh, yes. I, so, I totally forgot to make a video on this. But here you guys go, you get a sneak peek. Mower deck is on the wheel horse. I repeat, mower deck is on the wheel horse and it works. Just the blades are Dollar than doll. So yeah. Um, I'll get all the stuff to get the battery hooked up. And I'll come back when I'm done. Yeah. Alright guys. Um, got the battery out as you guys can see. Now what I... Oh shoot. Was that broken? No that's a zip tie. Never mind. Now what I would be doing is... As most of you would also guys be doing. Is using an actual car battery charger. One of those big ones, but I organized and took everything out and cleaned the garage the other day. And uh, dummy me put it all the way in the back, so we have to use this stupid Harbor Freight battery tender charger, whatever you want to call it. Put this on. We can go back to working on the Ford. So, get my gloves on. Okay. Oh, summer's coming, guys. So, comment down below if you'd like to see um, mini bike videos. Because uh, soon, my TY80 will be going. And also, my mini bike is going and stuff like that. So, yeah, and also my dad's mini bike also should be going soon, and his GT80, which I don't know if you guys seen, so I'm going to show you guys that real quick. Hi, oh, Sabrina. Hi, puppy. So, first of all, there's my mini bike. Yesterday I painted the fenders, so I should be able to put those on later today. And then, here we go, here's my dad's Yamaha GT80. We have to replace the frame on it because some dude who must have weighed like 500 pounds must have rode this thing and um, they cracked the frame in two places. Like, it's just, it's bad. So, let's go back to the board. Alright, so I'll get you guys set up. So, come on, lady. 
first, what I think we should do. Hmm. We got to put the front grill on. So let's do that. So let's get up, gather all the bolts and nuts. There's the nuts, washers. There's that. Now where's the bolts? Those aren't the bolts. Where's the bolts? Where are the bolts? Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. I cannot find the bolts. There they go. They were here. I think the bolts ran away, guys. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm going to cut it right here. I'll come back when I find the bolts. I found the bolts. Dummy me left them in the grill. So Now... I gotta go on the toolbox, and I believe those are half inch or nine sixteenths. And I gotta get one of those really curly, whatever you wanna call them, wrenches. When you're working on these Fords, it's always handy to have one of these whoop de doo wrenches. Because when you gotta put the grill on, you gotta get on, in under there. And you see all these curves? They really help you. So, first things first, let's set these on the tire. Where would the carpet that I'm using to sit on? And yes, even though I've already stained these jeans, I, they don't feel like sitting on the ground and staining them even more. Where, oh, duh. Okay. So, let's get this ready. So now, see what I'm talking about here. So, take your wrench. You can just shove it up in here. Or... One of the ways, through the back or something like that. Or you could even do this. Yep, there's this option. But it's best if you go through the other side. So like if I do this hole, you take this side, you show it up in here like this, and boom, it's perfect. So now, what we're going to do is take this like that, and we take this, and we are now going to put this like that, as it falls out, there's the 916 side, this side. So you just gotta figure something out to keep the bolt from moving and the wrench from moving. This is where you need two people. Yep, and then that happens. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab the grill. Get my gloves clean. Okay. Got the grill. Oh, there's gas in there. That's right. Now I'm going to set that like this. Run the fuel line through the grill. Or the shroud, whatever you want to call it. And that is not, that's going in the wrong spot. Oh my gosh. Well, I just will 
straight. Okay, we'll worry about this later. Okay, now that is like that. There's the bolt. So now I'm gonna use my hat to take the bolt. I'm gonna do that. Now, if you don't have two people to do this with you, make sure you wear a baseball hat and use the, whatever you call it, the berm or whatever, the end of the hat that keeps the sun out of your eyes. Use that to hold your grill up like I am doing. Then screw your bolt in. And there's that side. So, there's that side, guys. Now we do the other. If I can get this on. There we go, all right. So then you take your hat again, or your head, whatever, whatever works. And boom, there you have it. Now your grill is on. There, now you guys have officially seen a video of me putting the grill on. Because when I originally put this on, you guys did not see a video of me putting this on. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? Oh, sorry guys. There. So put your head against that, blah, 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 blah. Hopefully you can see that. Now you, but yeah. So. Now what we need to do is we gotta tighten that. So I believe the nuts are 9 sixteenths also. Take this. Where's, okay, all right, all right. Where's the end? Where's the 9 16 socket? There it is. Okay. There we go. Now my hair's not in my face. I really wish I had snap-on tools. Make things a lot easier. So, I'm gonna put these gloves on. It is very nice outside today, guys. Guys, you're gonna want to leave. Have, you're gonna want to leave your grill loose because you gotta remember you gotta adjust it to your hood. So we're not gonna tighten this fully. So now we gotta loosen it a wee bit. Now we go to this side. So we said, take this, show it on up in there. Put the ratchet back on tight in. Okay. 
Okay, she's not that loose, but... Um... Let's loosen her a little bit. Loosen it. By the way, guys, if you're watching this and you know your Jacobson and Ford tractors like these, um, and you guys probably know the Mini and Apps Moline version of this, just saying. One of these days you're going to be watching my videos and this thing's not going to be a Ford anymore. It's going to be a Moline. I really want one of those Mini Naps Molines. That is like my, one of my dream tractors to have. Alright, now it's loose. So, now I got to get a Q-tip. And you gotta clean the hose out. Ouch. Alright, got the Q tips. Clean this up. Sabrina, what's wrong? Alright guys, now we gotta try and get a lucky shot and get this sucker to go straight. Okay, that time that was not a lucky shot. Okay, this is not working. Guys has ideas. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. See, this is why I need a camera man. But I don't have one. Well, Ben, he was supposed to be, but... Anyways. Come on, zoom in. So yeah, I'm working right here and got the fuel on in. Oh, wait, wait, come on, zoom out. Yeah, that's better. There, okay. So I'm gonna take the zip tie, I'm gonna put it through there, hook it onto that, and then hopefully it'll work to pull this through, pull the fuel line through. This is very difficult. So, this is here. So, this is not a super long video. I will cut here and then I'll come back when I get the fuel line all hooked up. It's been like an hour or so since I cut the video. Um, but I'm gonna get you guys back set up in the tripod. So, I gave up trying to get it through the floor shield or the shroud. So, now you guys can see. Um, Got that back on. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got that that back on. And um, now what I've decided to do is I um, have a piece of wood laying around. Because, yeah, I know how to do woodworking and stuff like that. What the heck is that? Okay. Anyways, so 
here's this. And this is the bottom piece that I made for battery. So I'll um, get some bolts hooked up, found, or get some bolts found for that. Get this bolted in, get the seat back on, side shields. And then I will wait for the battery to fully be charged. Get the hood set up perfectly because I have a good feeling it's going to work. So yeah. So I will, I know this has been like a choppy video, kind of, but I'm, I don't want that one. You guys, I uh, can't speak. So I'm going to cut it again and I'll come back when I get the majority of the stuff on. So see ya. For you guys in about like a second. Um, it's only been like a minute since I cut the video, but I'm not going to be putting this on today because Dummy Me forgot to countersink the holes so that way the bolt will go down and I don't feel like going back and pulling my drill press back out, finding a different size drill bit. So we ain't using this today, but it will be on the tractor. All right, once again, see you guys in a bit. I'm back. I am actually reshooting this um, because this is the end of the video and uh, the last um, end of the video I made on the actual day when I was recording all this I didn't realize I left the stereo on in the garage and you could hear the music playing on in the background and I didn't want to get copyrighted so it's been like a week since I've um, recorded all the clips for this video so yeah it was bright and early a nice day out, you know, very nice outside. So, uh, here's the end of the video for the Ford. As you can see, it's all back together, and we're all good. The only thing I can't find is this shield, which I know I have it, somewhere in the garage. But this shield for that side, yep, somewhere in the garage. But... In the, the next Ford Friday video, you guys will see something with the Ford, but I'm not gonna say it because can't do any spoilers. Because you guys gotta, because you guys gotta make sure you have your subscribe button pushed, your notifications, so that way you know when I upload the next Ford video and you guys can see the surprise. So yeah, but it's all back together and stuff like that. And like I said, subscribe and notifications, and you'll see. Get, so that way you know when I upload the next video. But like I've been saying the past couple times, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said the other couple times, subscribe, notifications, and hit the like button if you like this video. I hope it helped some of you guys out. Um, when I was putting the grill on and stuff like that. So, yeah. But stay tuned. See you guys next time. Bye.